All right, let me begin on a positive note before I put my lunatic fringe hat on here. Uh, I'd like to thank our police department, better late than never, for uh, putting up the electric sign along Fairview. As you recall, they did the work on the tollway exit uh, for Annie Glidden traffic, or I should say the Peace Road exit, but there was Annie Glidden traffic that would come in that involved trucks that normally, who were not familiar with the area, would probably head straight through on Fairview, but they put the sign up there, so I appreciate them doing that to remind trucks to turn off on South First Street to make their rounds. Okay, I want to see, make sure you have all noticed if you walk downtown our wonderful new stamped asphalt crosswalks we have. I sent many of you pictures of those crosswalks online. This was paid for, of course, with taxpayer dollars. And uh, I want to make sure that these repairs, and our city manager in an email today did assure me that these repairs would not involve taxpayer dollars. These crosswalks are mangled. I don't know who <laughs> supervised this, but we're paying big bucks for this stuff downtown. We should get quality work for this. So I certainly hope we have a good warranty on this that it will be taken care of in the spring, as the city manager mentioned in his email with me today. Thirdly, I'm quite sad to note that so few people have filed their petitions. Usually there's a nice little crowd that's in the, uh, in, in, on the third floor or second floor over here at the council uh, to run for the 2011 DeKalb municipal elections. This council does need individuals who will work on behalf of the taxpayers and their constituents instead of those who use their petitions to lavishly spend and then tax us to death. So I encourage anybody who, who's living in wards one, three, five, and seven who's interested in serving to pick up one of these candidate petitions, packets I should say, at the uh, city clerk's office. It's not too late, you have until Monday. Now I don't know if you know this, if uh, anybody's li listening or watching in wards one or seven, it only takes less than 10 signatures 10 people, that's all you need to do to have sign your petition to get you on the ballot here in the city of DeKalb. I believe it's 43 for Ward 3 and for Ward 2, I believe the number is 37. You got a week to do it. Let's make it happen here. Let's have a good variety when it comes to election time. Um, a quick note to the council, if you look at these numbers, it's, it's, it's fascinating to see how few are required to get on the ballot in some wards and how many are required to get on the ballot in other wards. So perhaps when the 2010 uh, census results come in, we can possibly look at redistricting. That is something we definitely need to do in the city so there's equal representation for all the citizens. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I'm still waiting on an announcement on your ethics workshop that you recently proposed. Um, I hope we're going to have that announcement sometime soon. Um, this is very important that we do take a look at this ethics issue. Um, thirdly, I don't know if anybody else has had a problem with this. Mr. Gallagher made mention of this at the last council meeting. We've had some difficulty with Comcast here in our community. I don't know if any of you have noticed outages from Comcast. Have any of you tried to call customer service at Comcast? During the last outage, I don't know if you tried calling during the last outage, the one that happened a couple Sunday nights ago. You got an immediate busy signal. You didn't get to talk to anybody. You couldn't even leave a message with anybody. And I looked over our franchise agreement here, which is up for renewal in 2012, and I counted the number of lines that are devoted to customer service. 12 lines out of 35 pages in the agreement devoted to customer service. The rest is what can we do for the city here? We need to make sure that customer service is accounted for when we take a look at that franchise agreement in the next renewal. Thank you. Any other citizens want to come forward at this point?